My challenge for this assignment was to essentially try and photograph something that had happened, that wasn't ongoing, and to use the landscape, locations, internet cafes, places that had seen an involvement in a huge world issue that arguably might have changed the outcome of the US election. There used to be a factory over on the horizon, there used to be this here, there used to be that here. When I began to think about you know, those jobs and the opportunities, the jobs that were lost or the opportunities that were now available to Macedonians in that town, particularly to Velez's youth, then that gave me an idea that, well, if there were a feeling of no opportunities or that young people's options were severely limited, then I could begin to work from that and that perhaps this story, rather than having people in the midst of doing things, I could rely on the recent history and the location to piece this story together like that. They figured very early on that the stories, just through analytics and data, the stories that were clicked most, the stories that were followed through on Facebook to their logical conclusion, were the outrageous stories of Trump supporters and the Republican Party. And they very quickly realized that there was much more money to be made, but in very small increments, half a cent, whatever it is through Google ad revenue that you get, that the people that clicked on links the most, who didn't check their veracity, who didn't care for it, who just wanted to see the headline, were Trump supporters. And so with Boris, you know, the guy just wanted to make some money. And when he was making lots of money, he managed, he figured he could quit school. I don't think his teachers were particularly, you know, strong at trying to get him to, to remain in school. He was making a lot of money, more money than they would in a year. They encouraged him. It was always my intention to capture a, a more reportage moment of him engaging with, with his friends, perhaps in one of those internet cafes, perhaps in one of those bars. But all of those things just didn't materialize in the way that I would have liked to. I spoke to him about how um, he'd like to be photographed, how he would like to be sitting, where we should do it. It was a cooperation to get that picture of him sitting on the computer screen. Macedonia's response to being caught up or being the center of one of the biggest stories of 2016 with fake news and the sharing of fake news online, I think was met with kind of a little bit of grudging respect for the people that had done it. There was something else out there and they wanted a piece of it. 